Hello, good evening. Um, today we are going to set up the Anna account online. Uh, we be able to see how the Anna demo account works. Set up does not require in on your system. Uh, uh, SAP is already provided everything in cloud. It's called cloud cockpit. So you can see here link https colon dot hana trial done demand dot com. So when you go to this browser I'm able to register. So click on register. We'll take you to the page where you can register it. And you specify the name. So Anna. Test. I'm putting Now you have to specify the working IP, uh, email address. SAP which is I created at gmail.com this is the password which you can set should have eight characters uppercase lowercase numbers and symbol so whatever you wanted you can give for it okay. Contact preference, you can say mail for and then you tax terms and say register. Now register and send your email. Go to email box. You should receive an email which will have say active your account. Click to activate your account. Now it will take you to the page which says like account is successfully activated. So you should remember the username, nothing but your email address and the which you provided. Mm -hmm. so done OK. It will for it. You type in the password which you have given now. It will, it will go to the page called cockpit, which is nothing but the actual ANA system is for you. Let's for a moment. Right. So, I think you choose language. Uh, language does not matter. We close this one. And you look at this one, so see your trial, and you may be able to see multiple systems, but you have to click on the Europe trial, the one which is defaultly showing, and this is a unique number. Okay, and if you click on home, this you are uh, is getting refreshed now. And click on your account. So this shows the entire system of our okay. applications. You can see the services which is running. Persistence database systems. Okay, so we don't have a database system now, which we can create. And here is the data and schemas which need how to be created. And click here also. Just create the 
database. Again, huh? And the schema ID you can create it. We will let us see the trees or repositories. You can create probably later. Let me show you how to create the. Click databases, which will take you to the same page where you click on new, new and you wanted. We can say artist creating a shared one. can see that he's already created you click on the your account you will be able to see Anash has already created let me try to create database system actually we should be able to create a database system So it has useful documentation tools. Now you can see overall health. You can get started here. This one let you create an application. Probably that we can do it later. So, how to create database? And do database is it? Let us create a new database now. So it's the same like uh, under uh, this and all. I think uh, development portion. Let us talk. Later. Let's talk about database systems. So to create a database, you click on the databases and schemas. And click on new. Last time we created a schema, schema which was in shared. So we should not create that. So the data. You go for trial one. We'll ask you the database name ID. So maybe I say up. Then system username. 
can say system. Uh, system is a default username. We have to say the password. So you specify any password. Uh, remember the password. Otherwise, tricky problem. So I say web access yes, and this server also is. So I get this because of trial. This server is not allowed. Web access is on and says. Now it will create a database for a second change. Database creation started. So you see this is here. Okay, database HANA is our and if you want overview here, some overview it says database is under creation creating. So take a time to create the database. So the database is created. It will the database is created and you can connect this database from tools. You can see here administration tools and development tools. Share on a cockpit. Uh, if you click on SAP on a, once database is created, if you click on SAP on a cockpit, it will take you to the different URL. You'll be able to see the all the administration related. And everything related with the Sapana DB. And the development tool, if you click on Sapana web based development workbench, then you're able to see all the workbench, meaning the development work related things, and can start work on it. Uh, Evan can create it. This is a trial, and you can use it for a few hours. Uh, you will try. And if you have any questions, please post it here. Thank you.